Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. And one of the questions that I've seen quite a bit is regarding VIP callers and how do you uh, make someone a VIP caller, or how do you change the icon, those kinds of things. So we're gonna take a look at how to do exactly that in ServiceNow. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our users table. And for this one, I'm gonna use Abraham Lincoln. So everyone knows he's a VIP. And all it is really is there's an out of the box Boolean value or checkbox for VIP. Uh, if you're not seeing this on your main screen, you can always go into configure and then go into your form design or form layout. In this case, I'm just gonna go to form layout. Give it a minute because it does like to take a second, especially in a dev environment. And then on the left-hand side, you should see VIP over here and you can select to bring it over here. So let's go ahead and cancel out of this. So right now uh, that is active. So now let's go take a look at what this looks like from an incident. I'm gonna create a new one here. And let me just enter in so we've got just a regular user here. Everything looks the same as it should. And now I'm going to change this to Abraham Lincoln. What we notice is this changes to highlight in red. It also adds this VIP flag next to it. So now we can do reports on who is, uh, what are the VIPs asking for, um, how many tickets we have, as well as if I'm just a service desk agent, and I'm looking through this, I can very easily see that this is the VIP agent, that maybe this incident takes priority over others, depending on your organization's policies and procedures. Now, the main thing that I want to go over here is where exactly this is set in service now. So if you want to edit it, if you want to uh, make some modifications to it, you don't like the way it looks, that kind of thing, you know where to go. And what this is that drives it is it's actually a client script. So I'm going to go into our client scripts here. I can leave. And it is called Highlight VIP Caller. So once again, that's Highlight VIP Caller. Uh, we can see it's against the incident table. The type is on change. It's currently set to active as true. So there are two different ones, one for smartphones and one for um, your regular client facing or uh, website basically. So if we click into here, we can see the client script itself. So if there are things that we do need to change um, for, and we can see right here is there the check for VIP statuses, um, we can go in and we can edit this client script. Now your organization may or may not have a need for this, but if it does, this is the place to go. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.